Good morning and um, happy weekend guys. It's a Sunday. So um, my name is Grace. Um, welcome back again. Um, and today I'm just gonna share with you guys um, some you know, experiment I want to try um, in terms of propagation. So actually um, it's about pruning and propagating today. I have a couple of very leggy plants, leggy vining plants that I want to prune back and then see if I could propagate them in different methods. And what's different about this propagation is since they're already leggy, um, some of them actually, I'm going to try and see if they would grow even if they don't have leaves. Like for example, there's just node and stem and see if that would still have some growth. So, and when I say different propagation methods, I wanna try propagating in sphagnum moss, which is the first time I'm actually gonna do it. Um, and then perlite, and then a combination of, of sphagnum moss and perlite. And of course, you know, water. I've, I've done a lot of water propagation and I've had um, a good amount of success with them. And I also just want to make sure, of course, that if the sphagnum moss and perlite experiment doesn't work, that I still have, you know, um, some that's in water um, with a higher chance of success rate. So, yep, that's what we're going to do today. And um, also, I'm going to try to stick some of the um, nodes um, that I'm gonna be pruning directly to soil and see if that's gonna work too so let's start I do have a couple of plants as I've mentioned earlier um, the first one is actually this uh, I'm gonna show you guys in a bit I'm just trying to see if I can untangle her and then I'll show you guys so this is actually a syngonium an arrowhead plant um, which I actually just um, staked, I think, one or two weeks ago. But, so, yeah, successfully untangled her. And then I'll show you guys what I mean when I say um, she has, um, she's, she's already so leggy. So, oh, let me see. Yep, so this is her. She's actually she's actually quite big already. Um, but if you could see this part here, yeah, it's um it's a very, very long um leafless um stem. Oops. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut um on the node from the last growth so i'm just gonna turn the camera around and show you guys okay so this is her this is actually the last growth i'm not sure i think this is actually a new one as well and if you could see the roots actually have attached to the moss pole already so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut here there Okay, and then we'll see if that's also um, gonna encourage some growth. Okay. So we cut the leggy part of the syngonium already. Again, what it, this is now is just really a leafless um, node with stems. So we have a couple of nodes here. There's one here, and then two. And then three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this one, I'm not sure if um, it's about to grow a leaf, but so the first cutting would be right below the second node here. So we don't really want to cut right below the last node. That's just the best practice I've. Um, I watch other people do online and then this one we don't really need this anymore so we're just gonna cut the extra ones but we're also gonna cut a little bit uh, probably an inch below 
Mm. So again, I haven't tried this before, so I'm not really sure if it's gonna work. But for this cuttings, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be too much if we put them in water. So I'm probably just gonna put this ones in sphagnum moss and then sphagnum moss in perlite or even stick some in soil. So yeah, I think that's the plan for this ones here that we're cutting without any leaves. We'll either gonna put them in sphagnum moss perlite and directly to soil. So <clears throat> we're gonna put not put, gonna put them in water. Okay. There are actually some good um, aerial roots already so I'm not sure why they suddenly decided not to grow any roots I mean new um, growth so we have one two three four five six so for the syngonium we have a total of six cuttings if any of this is going to be successful, then that means a lot more new syngonium plants. So that's the first plant. And then the second one is actually my Scandapsus pictus argus. I'm not really sure. The Scandapsus um, plants look really the same to me, to be honest with you guys. Silvery and um, what are the other ones? There's Candapsus pictus silvery and there's Candapsus pictus satin and then there's Candapsus pictus argus and a lot more. I'm not sure. So, you know, I haven't really spent time to really research. So, we'll just say um, Candapsus pictus for now. So, this is her. Um, actually, I've had this this specific plant for a couple of months actually this is nay's plant um so yeah and it's a really really slow blower i think we've had this since last year so probably six months already and the only growth really i think is this one of the leaves here and then afterwards she started growing this re really really leggy stem and then decided to okay grow some leaves but afterwards it decided to be leggy again so i think we're just gonna have to help boost some growth by cutting back let me just um, remove one of the <clears throat> threads here okay yeah so yeah so we're gonna cut just after this last leaf here and hopefully it's gonna allow her some time to grow and uh Okay, so what we have is this again very leggy scandaxus um, and um, leafless, well, almost leafless stem with just nodes. So this is the first node, second node. But I think I'm just gonna go with safe and then just put below the third node. So we have one, let's just put it there. Um, And then we're just gonna do two on this one i'm not sure they just seem so fragile <clears throat> and then this is the one with the leaves so we're just gonna divide this not sure i'm gonna put this one in water and we'll see how it goes hopefully it works I'm just gonna cut right below another node instead instead of the one that's right after the leaves Okay, so we're just gonna remove some excess. It's the second leafless um, node or stem. Cut, cut. It's a very, very 
small notes to be honest so i'm not really sure if this is gonna work if not um, let's just hope for the best i guess okay I'm just gonna try to separate them so I remember which plant is which because I'm also gonna try to at least put um, <clears throat> all of them um, in different mediums and see so we can test which one is really gonna work, right? So for the Scandapsus Pictus, we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven patterns for that one. All right. And then, well, the last one is not really like a full plant yet. Um, <clears throat> this is um, one of my Cebu Blue cuttings that I purchased. I'm not sure. I think early February. The other ones have actually taken off. Although it really took a while before they started growing some new leaves. Um, but after the first or two leaves, um, at least the rest of my Cebu Blue, except for this one here, has really taken off. <clears throat> now this one, I'd say it's not so bad. She's even, he's even growing this new leaf here. But this part has started to grow leggy as well. And then, um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is gonna be a new leaf growth. So we're just gonna be safe and um, just cut him right after the last leaf there okay so it's gonna be left with this one so we have another leafless cutting uh, this one of the Cebu blue this one is not as long as the other ones so um, yeah, we, we are not gonna get a lot of cuttings here, which is okay, that's fine. Um, three, four, so we have five, five for this one, Cebu Blue, okay. And um, also, um, before I recorded, I have actually propagated um, a golden pottles. Okay, this is my golden pottles cat thing. I've actually, um, I actually had a, a, um, a lot of cuttings from the same plant already. Um, but for the purpose of the experiment where I, I cut the mother plant back again it, it started um, growing a lot of new leaves after the last time I pruned her so since we want to try um, different medium then I decided to prune her back again today okay but i think for the for the golden photos we're not gonna try to stick anything directly to soil just because well i just know it's gonna work because i've done it a couple of times in the past already so so basically when we oops so basically when we um Whenever you cut for propagation, just leave. So let me show you. Oh, this. Oh no, it's okay. So you're just gonna look for the node, and you're gonna see that because there's gonna be some bump, and also um, the easiest way to tell is there's gonna be some area that's growing, and then cut probably an inch or two inches below the node and then you're gonna have your cutting so this is a lot of cutting mm -hmm. so let me just continue cutting and then put them to the uh, different um, 
propagation methods I've already prepared and then I'm just gonna show you guys how it's gonna look like after okay all right guys so this is the finished product um, so unfortunately I'm not gonna sure if I can still tell which is which especially for the ones that I mean um, for the ones that doesn't have leaves I just know that the syngonium um, leaf has this tiny um, speck of pink on the sheet but I don't know I'll figure it out I guess so this is the one in sphagnum moss so I just I placed the skin depth suspectus here a couple of the um, nodes from the syngonium and then um, cebu blue um, and the skin depth suspectus as well and then I also threw in just one of the golden photos here so um, and then this is the um, perlite only so same um, we have the syngonium here the skin depth suspectus and I think one of them is also the cebu blue and um, same for this one I placed the uh, one skin capsules with um, the leaf here on perlite only so we have one in perlite only and one in sphagnum moss so I could see which one is gonna grow roots faster and also just added a uh, true in one <coughs> golden photos here and same setup for the sphagnum moss in the um, perlite combination although for this one um, I don't have the skin depth suspectus with the leaf so we just have the stems here and the only one with the leaf is this um, golden photos and then of course we have the wa water propagation here and also here so I just want to mention guys for the um, water propagation I also use rooting powder which is this one so I use a small brush and just put some rooting water on the end of the stem and also where the node and the air roots are so and then lastly the ones that are directly in soil this one actually i combined two syngoniums here and also the cebu blue i think no 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 sorry this is actually the skin suspectus and the cebu blue combined that's um directly in soil and then the syngonium here directly in soil and for the um, golden photos I also uh, I actually have three cuttings of the um, golden photos here so for the ones that are directly in soil in soil what I use were the topmost part of the cuttings where there are at least two nodes um, below the um, last growth point yeah so yeah i'm not sure if i've used too much soil i think this is roughly around a two inch pot i don't know if it's gonna be too much soil for for a leafless um stem but again we'll see and um we'll check the difference i'm gonna try to keep you guys posted okay so i think that's it for today's video guys um this is the propagation boxes that i have um so I, I place the leads already um, to keep the moisture inside um, and also for humidity to encourage faster um, root um, system. I mean, to encourage the root system to grow faster. Um, I'm not sure if it does make any sense, but you know just as far as i've researched and as far as i've seen others do it so this is the first time i'm actually propagating um anything any of my plants um, outside of the usual water propagation i do not have 
any prop boxes yet you know so to speak so i'm very excited to actually have this already so i'll try again to keep you guys posted um hopefully you'll be able to do maybe some weekly updates i'm not gonna promise anything but as soon as i see any significant growth or even if there's none really um we're just gonna try to keep you guys posted on this little experiment thank you again and happy sunday bye